All right, starting off this video right, we got new tires. Woo, I am no longer driving on dry rotted tires, so yay me. <laughs> and then we found out that my propane system is very outdated, so we needed to go and figure that out. And what better place is that but Home Depot? And here I am pulling the whole old thing through Home Depot and found the new one. Very hard to find. It was hidden. And here we are, ready to go. Yay! How are they related? Got right, Calmers. And then there she is. Bessie. Okay, make sure I don't die. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Right, and we made it to our camp spot for the weekend at Otter Creek in Wisconsin. A beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous. And here we are giving her the old crank and raising the roof. Popping it open, getting it ready. And <laughs> you will see that we were unable to get the mosquito net I was talking about. So we ended up taping some screen I found at Home Depot to the giant hole. <laughs> Oh, lovely. So beautiful. What is this? Hand, Hand sanitizer, sanitizer that's been in this camper since I bought this it. This is gross. I don't want that Okay, this is going down here. This is going with us, so we're not going to put that here. Okay, next we have our forks. We are going to learn how to open so that we can. All right, we are here, night one. This is our setup. So we do have working propane, which means we can work our beautiful outdoor stove that I did last video. We got our outdoor table here with a mosquito repelling candle. This is our shower area. And we have our shower stuff in here, our biodegradable soap, and this is where we shower. We got a tarp for a little um, carpet action. We got our water table. This is our food. our electrical we got our converter here we got the jacks all in play here and then we come around and we will go inside we got our nice rug we just blew out the candle because of course I forgot towels and a pillow so we need to run to Walmart which is sadly like 30 minutes away, <laughs> but we're definitely going to need towels and a pillow. This is our food set up here, all nicely organized. This is my mom's side. She's got her clothes, her water bottle, her owl, nice sheets, a sleeping bag. This is our working area. And then I did not bring sheets this time. And I just got my sleeping bag and blanket. I think I'm going to lay this blanket out, though, over um, under my sleeping bag. And then we got our little rugs right here. And we got our trash and extra food down here. And we're headed to Walmart now. And we decided to stop and get some nice hot Pizza Hut and eat it in the back of the truck because they were closing in like 15 minutes and I felt bad eating it inside the restaurant after we went to Walmart. 
And then my mom had a life hack because our shower was just <laughs> not holding up to standards. So we decided to drive 25 minutes into Menominee and use the Love's truck stop. And it was actually not bad. Oh, Eight out of 10. And here we are back in the camper and we got these awesome rubber bins from Walmart for our food storage. Um, you can see all my clothes right here. We've got me a pillow, <laughs> thank God. And yeah, getting all tucked in for bed. And we leave a citronella candle burning all night to help keep the bugs away. And good morning. It is day, I guess, two, if you count yesterday's day one at Otter Creek. And not as sunny as I'd like it to be, but I think it's going to be a good day. Okay. Here's mom cooking breakfast and possible sausage on the outdoor grill. Do you hear the sizzle? I hear the sizzle. And here we are walking to the booth for the day. I got these awesome signs made up for my business to put around the showgrounds, which I'm in love with. There's our little tent booth set up. And got my rain boots on and my Morgan Chapman media shirt. And this is the booth set up for the weekend. It changed <laughs> over the course of the weekend due to rain and wind and stuff, but I'm really happy I got all these dressage pictures up from people of last year. Helps entice people to order this year, but really loving the setup. Looks very inviting. Thank you. And day two is complete. <laughs> I was super busy, sorry I didn't film much, but here I am editing by candlelight. And we got our giant uh, tiki torch <laughs> bug citronella candle out there. And we're headed to bed. And here we are, day three, getting my water. And uh, this is this is funny, of course, I kept this on camera. Oh, what a great start yeah. to the day. <laughs> And the good luck just kept continuing. We got hit with some pretty big rain and wind, so the awning fell down. Um, ended up getting lots of frames for my photos. And here is me set up at the rings, um, just waiting for the rides to start. lunch we got mac and cheese pineapple pickle de gallo which i highly recommend and during our lunch um it just came pouring down and little did i know this was going to be a huge damper on the weekend um all my photos in the frames ended up getting soaked and we had to like air dry the cardboard Oh, it was, it was crazy. And here we are the next morning. That's how bad <laughs> it got where I just had to stop recording for the whole day because it was just, it was just pouring rain. It was, it was horrible. Um, we, it was, it was, so it was a hard, cold. hard last part of Saturday. It ended up also raining all night, Saturday night. So everything was soaked and Thank God for this Bachman's bag that I covered my camera in for I could continue to shoot. And it was cold. It got really cold. So cold that we used the heater. And thank God I got that guy working before we left because damn did we need it. It was, it was chilly. Um, could not feel fingers, toes. Um, so we were huddled by the heater <laughs> during lunch. And here's lunch again, the pickle de gallo. Super good. Highly recommend if you've not had pickle de gallo. It is like the best dip. <laughs> and you can see that our screen has Look just completely that, left man. the building. <laughs> And 
and that's it sunday has come to a close and we are packing up the camper and getting ready to go there was only a couple <laughs> like really damp spots from the rain that we had had all saturday night and sunday morning it was like right there in that corner it was pretty wet but everything else that waterproofing spray that i did really took care of everything and little did I know, this would be the last time in our last camping trip with this camper. We ended up finding one of our dream pop-up on Facebook Marketplace. Definitely not for $350, but for a good deal. Um, and I can't wait to introduce you to her. But this was my last trip with Bessie, which is honestly makes me want to cry. Bessie has been with me and... I have taken care of her for a year now, and our time together has come to a close. I just need something that can really sustain itself and not have so many problems as I'm trying to work. Um, I mean, they're not problems. It's just we need more room, more space to work and take care of stuff. And maybe a little less holes would be would be nice <laughs> and an outdoor shower which is why we did get the other one but here we are headed back across the border into minnesota this bridge is always so pretty and i love <laughs> looking at it as we've been filming it as we drive over it it's it's one of my favorites but i can't wait to introduce you guys to the new camper it is immaculate and i can't believe that it is mine Here we are back home, backing her into the driveway, and I just want to thank you, Bessie, for teaching me everything about pop-up life, and I love you.